What you guys got another video here for you on an easy way to customize Windows 11. If you don't like this just plain look uh, desktop, as you can see here, you can customize it with some apps that you can get from the Microsoft Store, which I'm going to show you right here. So first off, let's go ahead and uh, change the background here. So I'm going to get my background that I want to use for this particular desktop. I'm going to open one up here. You can choose whatever one you want. There's plenty of them to choose from on the internet. Just go ahead and find one that suits your sort of theme that you want to go for. So I'm going to put this on, and it's a bit of a dark theme as you can see here, but that's what we're going for on this one. Next up, we're going to need to get some applications. So let's go ahead and go to the Microsoft Store here and open this up and do a search for the application. So the first one we're going to go for here is the B widgets. So let's go ahead and search for B widgets up the top here. So all we need to do is go up to the search box and type it in up here. Now this is a safe program to use and basically it's going to let you add some widgets to your desktop. So let's go ahead and click on this and you should see it open up here and I'm going to click on the get button. So let's go ahead and click get and you can install this. Now this means you don't have to install Rainmeter or any of those other software to put clocks and stuff like that on your desktop. Now it's not a large file, but it will download it as you can see here, 12 megabytes, and it's going to go ahead and install. Once that's installed, we can click on the open button and we can now have a look at the application. It looks pretty basic, but there is some uh, good functionality to it. So click on the new widget here because we're going to create a new widget. And you can call it whatever you like. I'm going to leave it as new widget. And it, as you can see, it's set to clock or time. So click on the customize button here. When you click on customize, it will open up another little box here. And this is where you can customize your clock. So depending on the width and the height that you want, you can uh, make changes. And you can see here, you can change all of these settings, your, your preferences here, uh, whether you want to change font, whether you want the background as transparent or you want it as a color or whatever it is you want to change yours to i'm pretty sure that you can mess around in here and get something that you like there's plenty of uh, colors to choose from here if you want to add a color background on it as well so i'm going to leave mine as transparent and i'll just show you some of the other features that this program has to offer you can see the clock right up in the left hand side here you can set uh, colors and stuff like that if you wish but let's go ahead and hit transparent now we can click on the uh, text tool here and change the text. You can also make it a 12 hour format if you want to. You can show seconds if you want to, and you can also uh, remove the zero before the 24 hour, depending on how you want to get your setup. I'll finally set it up how I like it in a second, but what I'm going to do here is go through some of the other features that this has to offer. Now the width and the height can be changed here. So you can type something out in here or you can use the up and down arrow keys to change the height and position and uh, stuff like that from the clock itself. Now there's a bunch of different fonts that you can use for your clock. So whether you like the stock standard font here or you like a different type of font, you can change that as well. You can also change your position here or you can just grab hold of it and move it around on the screen here, which I'll do a little bit later on. So let's go ahead and go down to uh, the uh, font here. So I'm just going to come down here and you should see uh, time text. And here you can change the time color as well uh, to whatever color you want. And you can also change the font size here by making it bigger here. So let's go ahead and change the format of the font as well. And you can change it to whatever one you want. You can download some off the internet and it will of course allow you to change them inside here as well. So I'll probably leave mine looking something like this, maybe a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and just make that a little bit larger here. That's better. And then once we've got this done, we can create a new widget. So the next new widget I'm going to go for is a, a weather or something along those lines. So let's go to new widget and then we can add in the weather. So you should see it set to default by time. So go over to the little drop down and click on weather. And this will add the weather. Now it's overlapping the old one, but don't worry, we can move that around a little bit later on. So what you need to do here is click on customize and it will open up the same window and you can go in here and make your changes to uh, the weather app. So you can change the position and all that stuff, just like you could before. You can also set your city. So go ahead and click on set city and you can see by default it says Prague. 
So you want to add in your location. In my case, it's London. You can click OK and it should say city is valid. And then you can go on to uh, the setting here for 24 hour or current. And then you can set the forecast settings. So the, this is the weather icon size. You can change the size of this and also set it to Celsius or Fahrenheit as well. And uh, you can go through and make more changes. Again, I'm going to make sure that the background is transparent. And we also need to change the uh, temperature text and you can change the colors here as well, which is nice if you want to add a bit of splash of color, you can do as well by making changes to the color palette on the here. So let me go ahead and make some changes to all of this and I'll get it all set and then move it up and down into the position that I want. So what I'm going to do now is drag this into the position and you can align it where you like. You can have it in the middle, on the right, at the bottom, wherever you like. You can have it in a line. You can position it wherever you like on your desktop. I'm going to keep it looking like this and I'll probably make some changes to the colors once I've got everything in position. So let's just go ahead and make some extra changes here. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is add another widget and this is going to be our date. So let me go ahead and add the date on here as well. And uh, there's some other ones on here you can add. I'm pretty sure they're going to be adding more to this list uh, in the up and coming updates for this little program here. But this is just a simple one to add the date on the screen as well. You don't have to add this on, but I'm going to add it on just to show you you can do it. And I'll get this all in position and we move on to the next bit. So I've done some final tweaking and I've basically got the font underneath orange and I've got the timer in orange as well. So now go back to Microsoft Store and we're going to do a search for a nice taskbar here. So go ahead and uh, download the nice taskbar and you can install this on your PC. So go ahead and click on the get button. You can read some of the reviews there. And uh, I'm just going to quickly click on get and get this downloaded and installed. This will allow us to change the uh, taskbar to a different color and also the transparency, whether you want it on blur and things like that. You've got plenty of options with this little uh, tool here. So get it installed on the PC and then click on open. And this will open up the little application. If it doesn't open when you click on open, it will be on the bottom right hand of the screen where you can click on the icon and basically it should open up like this. Once you see here, I'm leaving this as default, but on the effect here, you can see opaque, clear, uh, blur, uh, fluent, and also uh, good luck. And you can click on any of those icons. I'm just going to change the color to orange and then change the slider, which is to do with the actual uh, transparency of it. So we can get a nice looking uh, taskbar here. Now you can use whatever color scheme you want. I just fancy using a bit of an orangey sort of color. So I'm going to go ahead uh, with that. It's a pretty simple program, but it does a pretty good job at uh, changing all of the uh, colors there. So you see the little uh, pictures on the right hand side where it says effect. You can click on any of those. There's a big ticking clear here and you can click on whatever you like and you can change the uh, transparency to something that you want on here by pulling the slider up and down here. So I'll probably go with something like clear or blur and then we can make changes to this. So there you go. That is uh, the end result. A very simple way of uh, customizing your desktop to make it look a little bit different to what you get stock from uh, Windows 11. If you want to uninstall it afterwards, you can do. Just go to the start button, click settings, and then go to apps on the left, and then go to apps and features. Once you click on apps and features, you can go through the list and find the applications that you've installed uh, from the Microsoft Store, and then you can go ahead and uninstall them by clicking on the three dots and clicking uninstall and this will uninstall the program from your computer. You can go through and remove all of the other applications that you may have installed uh, watching this video or any ones that you've installed from the Microsoft Store. And once you're done it should go back to defaults by right clicking, going personalized and changing it back to your default colors. So I hope you enjoyed this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen. If you want to join our Discord server, it's free to join. We do tech support over there and also have a chat about technology or whatever goes. Anyway, I shall see you over there. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.